Welcome back to the world of Minecraft. It's not your craft, it's Minecraft. Um, so this is a different subject today. Um, kind of a standalone um, showcase video. And uh, everybody needs a secret laboratory. And um, I have one. Um, and we're going to check it out today. It's where I I keep all my stuff. And I experiment. I, I build um, mock-ups. Um, I do things on a small scale and see if they work. And then in the world, I'll do it in a larger scale. So we're going to go check that out. So I'm here in my, my private library. And uh, we're going to head downstairs. Um, that's the main library in through there. We've got a couple more flights to go. And right here, this is the, the ground floor. We have the, uh, the throne room right here. Where that's where I sit and do my throning. And, uh, and the dining hall. And I have a private room in the back of the dining hall. Secret access. And uh, and we're going to go through the unfinished basement. So you have to uh, give me some slack on this. This is an unfinished basement. It's very dark in here. Oh my goodness, is sheep. How are you going to get out, boy? I think you're uh, pretty much screwed. So we're going to come in here. Secret door. Secret door number two. Um down uh, secret staircase number one so we're going to take the secret staircase to the secret railway there's a bunch of different ways to get to this point um, there's also another hidden doorway uh, down that corridor that leads up to uh, the gatehouse um, and we could either go uh, in this direction to the main um, kind of uh, railway junction. I think we've seen that before. And then that door should be shut. Huh. Um, leads into the sewer system. This is sewer system number one. And then if you go in that direction it leads you to sewer system number two um, and this leads actually to the water the water system for this castle is up that ladder so it's pretty um, pretty extensive it'll be a little bit on the dark side until we get to the lab um, but the lab is is pretty well lit up so I do apologize for the darkness so we're gonna head on out it's not not a long ride it's a straight shot and it'll take us right to uh, right beneath the mine and then I'll describe kind of where we are and how I found this particular location we're just cruising Here we are. Easy peasy. Um, if you were to get here from the railway station, the underground, you know, the, the junction station, you would come from that direction. You would come from there to here, to this spot. And in the chest, I just keep uh, a bunch of cards and uh, things like that. So we're going to head down this is where it kind of probably will get on the a little bit dark once we get away from this lava head up the stairs and now we 
we come into a bit of a finished finished room situation here and then a big hallway wow look at the size of this this is um just a, a room of floors it goes up probably three layer three levels and uh there's really nothing nothing there um the where you see the carpet like here and then there's two there and then two there and then two further down two further down two further down those are rooms and there's one room on each side of the hallway and uh, they go from smallest to biggest so those two rooms are just um let's check them out and and i i did i kind of color coded the um the carpet here because what i found was when i would walk and walk and like if i'm working at the far end and i need to leave which is this door right here i found that i i, I said oh did i walk by three doors or did i walk by four and then i end up having to check each room to see if it's the exit so i color coded them green for go green if you want to go it's green see logic logic medieval logic so blue is just well it's just blue uh doesn't really mean anything and uh, here's a loom room it's a room for the loom it's the fruit of the loom and uh and we have a bunch of dyes and wool in here whatever you want to whatever you want to make oops wrong button uh whatever you want to make we got we got you covered we uh, we got we got uh we got all kind of all kind of stuff for projects for knitting projects you can make banners you can make t-shirts we can make caps skull caps uh all kinds of whatever you want to do and then this is just a basic tool room. This is where I I keep uh, extra tools, tools of the trade. So just uh, you know, self-explanatory. And then yeah, that's the end. So we're gonna head down this way and check out some rooms. Most are empty, to be honest. So the black carpet that has a shut door is a an empty room so here we come to an orange carpet now an orange carpet is a room that does stuff so uh, we'll head on to the left room and we have a power source room unlimited buckets of golden goodness unlimited power in this room you take a empty bucket you scoop out the lava you throw the lava in the stove and you've got a good source of power and in a number of minutes this bucket will refill and these will always stay here so that's why i don't really have um a whole room full of this stuff because it's regenerating i mean it's um it's a good source of power and then across the hallway we have a smelting room so you put your raw material in here, it gets sucked into the oven through here, and then it gets spit out into here, and then your fuel goes into this, and then the oven sucks in the fuel by this side, and we have, uh, we got two here, and we got one there, and then we got one there. So, uh, so a good, a good, good little smelting operation here. Get some, get some, get some stuff smelted. Turn on down. Now these, this is the first of the experimentation rooms. Um, these are currently being unused, so they are empty. And this is the smallest of the rooms. So we got a nice little room here, well supported and well lit. 
and uh, you know if you want to uh, do some little lab experiments we can certainly do that in this room and this room is a mirror of the one we just viewed so we'll go down a little bit further and uh, this is a, a little bit larger um, project room or experimentation room oh and I have something currently going on here so this is a, a little bit larger room and, and we can build stuff I've got this little project going this is my hidden stair um, experimentation thing so basically um, you hit this switch and the stairs pop out so it's a good uh, little hidden staircase uh, that I can use in wherever so that's a that's one little project that I got going and that lives in that room and when I'm completely done with it and and uh, I can just tear it down and start something new or whatever and then over here let's see what we got I hear some noises got another little uh, experiment going here let's see what we got oh wow we got disco floor need some music going I need a st sound system or something yeah we got the, the disco floor running hmm okay And these are the main these are the main rooms right here um, to the left we have a an overflow storage room there's nothing in this room yet um, but it is it is designed to be um, overflow for whatever um, all kinds of stuff I mean we got lots and lots and lots and lots of room here to uh, to ex for expansion but we are going to go across the hall. This is the main lab. This is the main secret lab of the secret lab facility. But before we do that, before we even go in there, let's look at the end. So the end is a little pool. And if you look up, you can see, if I get a little bit out here, you can see we are in almost like a volcano this is the top of a mountain that I found that had this um, this cauldron uh, volcano type situation that ended in this pool so I said oh that's a cool place so that's how this um, this secret lab evolved I came into this cauldron and just started digging that way um, so it's kind of a uh, You know, a, a secret layer in a volcano. Kind of a neat thing. So let's go into the main lab. Main lab, here we go. We got everything. We got um, everything as far as uh, storage. Everything's labeled. We got couches to lounge. We've got uh, workstations, work tables. Um, we've got everything you need um, to build or experiment with anything we have a trash system right here you put your garbage in there and um, and it will disappear we have a little manual oven system here with plenty of fuel um, everything an evil scientist might need and we have a infinite water system here so if you need a bucket of water for something you just get it out of the middle and you'll never run out um, so it's a very cool 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 place to uh, to store stuff gather stuff and uh, and build stuff and technically, if I needed more space, I can always expand uh, 
expand some of these rooms out. Um, but it's it's it works it works for me. It's a little spread out. I mean, it's a lot of a lot of walking around. It's a big big area. And this is basically the only way in or out this uh, this tunnel system, this rail system. Um, we'll just head back, head back to the castle, and uh, and that's gonna be it. It's gonna be short, short little showcase. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it gave you maybe an idea or two. Um, I had a uh, I have a lab in the in a previous castle that was uh really compact and small and it worked out really well this one's a little bit um a little bit further away than than maybe i'd choose um a little bit of a ride but um but it it's not too bad gotta spread out you know make things um uh, on a grander scale sometimes but uh, and here we are that's it well, thanks for uh, taking a look, and um, have a great day.